speak in front of commissioners instead of him looking through this five pages up here? Right. Got to be the easiest thing to do. Right. There may be two out there. Michael, what did you sign on down there for? Y'all probably don't do it, but uh, there's been so much going on, and I was on to make sure y'all remembered. We want to thank the Ebro. They was been real nice during the setups, and Sherry and all of her help was just so kind on letting us use the, build, the building. Let's all give her a hand in the city of Ebro. Under. 
And so there will be a cost involved with that, and the board needs to know that irregardless of the direction they decide to go. Any questions I can answer? Shoot. What is the cost? I don't know that. Now, my understanding is that, that if we was going to accept this and we had to keep it in a certain condition for 10 years. Sure. After that, if we stuck a match to it, to what nobody's business. Yeah, our obligations extend for 10 years. Here's what I can tell you from my standpoint. We will have, there's a stated condition in the covenant whereby the house has to be in for us to accept it. And we've got to accept the house. Right. All right. And, and we have tried to blend uh, what standard of condition it must be kept in for 10 years. Now, I, you know, when I've got a leak in my house, I call a plumber. So I can't tell you from a cost perspective what the absorption of that will actually be. I can tell you from a legal requirement standpoint that we're going to have to cover those costs uh, for a period of 10 years. But now my understanding this house is not going to have any electricity or no water in it. That's my understanding. You know, I, I, Stacy's kind of been, and, and Mr. Pitts have been dealing with the, the condition and what it, I've never seen the house. Um, my understanding is it's just going to be a house. The property has already been allocated. That's my understanding as well. Um, and they was just bringing a house. It would last, I mean, from, from I mean, Mr. Pitts come and spoke um, and said it, by all indications, it'll last 10 years. That Mr. Pitts is a lot more knowledgeable in that situation than I am. All I can tell you is there, the risk is yours. The risk of maintaining it is yours. If your expert tells you there's not a lot of maintenance that's going to be required, that's why you've hired him to do that. I'm telling you for the 10 years, it's your obligation. Risk, and our people have told us the risk is not great. 
all right, but you're accepting that risk for a period of 120 months. What's the benefit? The benefit is getting this house in a certain condition and using it to uh, promote or, or advance this land that we've got designated for. So that's the analysis that I, I look at it under, under my Microsoft Florida for our, for our property out there. Four thousand dollars a month in one month is going up. One month, four thousand dollars. And that's things we're facing. So, uh, but I'm just asking you as a whole. I know you fix when you put this in tonight. You're locked in. I'm not asking for raising taxes. I'm getting it wrong. But understand, I'm gonna fight for my piece of the pie because I've got to protect. It. I, I feel like you. I, I, we, are, we are in this together. I appreciate that because in the past I've had to wrestle with every, every little phone I've yet. So uh, we all have. Anyway, can you recognize that? But I understand. But you know, uh, I have a commitment to the community and an obligation to the community, and I'm not going to let that that safety factor come into play. And I want to say 